Hi, today I want to show you how to add any pattern to clothes in PhotoP. In this lesson, we're going to use a tool called Displacement Map. That's a little bit tricky, but let's start from the beginning. First, find an image with someone whose clothes you want to replace. And find another image, which should be some kind of pattern which you want the shirt to be like. So now I have already opened both files in my PhotoP page. First, let's make a copy of that background layer, just in case. We're going to use that later. And now let's make a selection of his clothes using the quick selection tool. Okay, it's looking good. So now next, we should create a mask. Here, create a mask. Remember, here, in the white area, it means white will show and black will not show. So now what we should do is to drag this mask onto our pink layer. So drag it. And now we have something like this. So this is the result so far. The shirt, though we have copied the pattern here, it looks completely flat and unnatural. So let's do one more thing to make it better. Let's change the blending mode. Um, you can try them because um, it, depend it depends on the pattern you choose. So Maybe I'll try multiply. Sorry, it should be in this layer. Okay, try multiply. I think multiply always look good, but sometimes overlay or darken look good too. In this case, I'll use multiply, but it really depends on which pattern you choose. So now it looks better because it has these wrinkles here. But you can see that even though we can see the wrinkles, it's, um, the pattern doesn't go along with the wrinkles, right? So what we're going to do is to make the patterns wrinkle along with this fold here. So the next step is the most crucial part of this lesson we're going to use the displacement map. And since it only works for smart objects, so let's turn this layer, turn this layer, our background copy, into a smart object. Turn it into smart object. We're going to use it as a map so that um, in our pattern layer, we will take reference from here to make it know that we want the clothes to fold, to wrinkle, like this background copy. So now back to our pattern layer and click Filter, Distort, Displace. Okay, here Source, Smart Object. You can see that now it is pink. Pink is this layer, but that's not what we want. What we want is to take reference from here, the background copy. So let's drag it down, background copy. So now we've selected our background copy as our source. So you can change the horizontal and vertical pixels to decide how much you want it to distort. Now it's 10 pixel, maybe it's not very obvious. So let's change it to maybe 20. Keep an eye on here because it's the most wrinkled part. See, something has changed. 20. If you think that's still not obvious enough, let's double it to 40. Keep an eye on here, right? Now it's changing. If I think it's okay, click okay. So 
this is our result you can see that um, let me show you the before and after before we use the distortion this looks completely straight the lines here are straight and now after we use the distortment here it becomes a little bit distorted along with the wrinkles of the shirt there's something very important in doing this if you go wrong in changing the clothes maybe it's first because you forget to turn your reference to a smart object that's the probably the first mistake that you will make and the second thing that might go wrong is that your pattern is not big enough to cover the area of your shirt so when you are importing the pattern into the photo p windows please make sure that the area covers or maybe make it bigger okay make it a lot bigger because once we use the distortment um you don't know how how much it will shrink so make sure that your pattern layer is so much bigger than your clothes area okay that's the two things you should remember in doing this so this is how you add any patterns naturally to a clothes in photo p if you think this is useful please give me a thumbs up and i will see you next time bye